this is Christy with Resin and More Boxes. I hope everyone is doing well and getting ready for the holidays. We are super duper excited um, as the holidays are approaching and with our December box coming and all that fun stuff. So we are here to unbox our November box and I really, really hope you guys enjoy this box. Um, for anyone who's a newbie and has no idea what we do, well, take a look. That way you'll hopefully uh, be interested and buy some of our future boxes. We just wanna thank all of the uh, nearly 70 new customers that we got this past month um, that bought a box from us. So it has been our best month yet. We are super duper grateful for all of you. Um, and we just can't wait to see what else we are doing in the future. So here we go. We're gonna go ahead and unbox the November box, which was actually a geode box. So here we go. All right, perfect. So as you see, there is plenty of stuff in this box. Um, we do have our resin that came with the company DIY Epoxy. They have been so great with us and we just wanna thank Josh from over at DIY Epoxy who um, got us this amazing freaking epoxy and it seems like it has been the best. There are so much feedback on it and we are super duper happy to be uh, collaborating with them. So if you do got, if you guys do like it, join their, their Facebook page, join their Facebook group. Josh is amazing. All right, and next comes, of course, our flakes. This, over the last two months, you guys have seen us put in the rose gold, and I think we put in the um, silver flakes. So this month, we went ahead and we got the, um, we added the gold one for you guys. All right, and this is our silver flake. And this is our gold. You guys got medicine cups. And we also did go ahead and get you guys um, this pigment paste. They did come from KS Resin. So you guys all got about uh, two or three grams a piece. It is pigment paste. So pigment is kind of just like mica, but in the, you know, in a liquid type of form, in a pigment form. Um, just use a tad bit in any of your projects and it will go ahead and color your project to whatever color it is. Most of you guys, um, we got a bunch of different colors, so many of you guys are gonna be getting different colors out there. So we can't wait to see what you guys do with this pigment paste. Please make sure that you stir before use because it can get a little chunky and things of that nature. So here we are. As you guys know, our newbies, um, we're doing this because a lot of we got a, a lot of newbies this month and so we just wanted to go ahead and introduce you guys to Island Micas and Moore's um, Island Scrubs. They have been so so great with us. Um, Samantha over there she has been a great partner with us every single month and she has um, made us these scrubs. Every month it's pretty much a different flavor, a different scent. Um, this month we sent out pineapple and pumpkin spice. So a few of you will get pineapple, some of you will get pumpkin spice. This is great for anyone who gets epoxy on their hands. As we all know, epoxy is a chemical and it shouldn't be um, cleaned with alcohol or acetone or anything to that nature. Usually the standard practice is that we should either um, wash our hands with baby wipes or soap or anything to that nature other than putting another chemical on our hand. This has been going around, um, not a lot of people know about it, and I just feel like this is something that's essential for us within the resin community. And so um, when you get resin on your hands, and if you can't get that stickiness, stickiness off of your hands, put a little bit of this into your hands, scrub your hands, and you will see that it will come out, that all the stickiness will come out and your hands will be nice and soft at the end. We do love this. I do love Samantha over at Island Mica, Micas and More. Um, and I will continue to put these in every single newbies box. And then we will actually go ahead and put them um, out in a box every so often. Um, because I feel like people need to know about this and people should, you know, go ahead and support Samantha in regards to getting more of these when you start running out from our box. All right. 
This month we also got a solar color dust. It's an ultra thermal dust. So what does it do? Everybody got a different um, color. Everyone got a different um, kind of, uh, what you want to call it, a different color. So this one, I'm not sure if you guys can read it, but it says it goes from blue to green and it's cold activated. So what happens is when you put this into your um, resin and then you put it in the mold, eventually what's going to happen is if you pour some cold water or you put something cold on top of it, it's going to change. So it's going to go from this blue color um, over to a green color or we had people that got it colorless to go to blue or colorless to go to black So it is really really cool and since I figured we were doing coasters I said hey this would be the the perfect thing to put because people are gonna end up putting cups on it right um, for a coaster and everything to that nature so I said why not um, so I hope you guys really do enjoy it. If you guys have any other questions or concerns in regards to this, please check out solarcolordust.com and they'll have more instructions in regards to how to use this. Every newbie knows that they get, um, a, a, well, not every newbie knows, but all of my veterans know that we usually send in my card along with a scratch off card and you guys get other little fun stuff inside of it. So if you're a newbie, enjoy this. And if you ever need more, let me know. This month's glitter um, is the little leaves, which I thought were really, really cute. Let's see if I can get this. And, um, you guys did get a lot more of it this month than previous months just because it was a shape. And then we also got this amazing, beautiful rose gold. I don't think the camera will make, will give it justice and will make it look good. However, it looks amazing in person. And then of course, you guys got this month's goodies, which is two color spoons, which is mostly for like your glitter or for your mica. Um, or of course for the paste as well. So if you wanted to use that, I got you guys a stick. So I use these skewer sticks to, um, use around the edges of our coasters or our molds to help pop the bubbles, um, that may just be like down on the bottom or something to that nature. So I got that, thought it was a new tool for people who aren't aware to go ahead and use. We also got this dropper, which um, people usually try to use when there are smaller spaces and they need to drop um, their resin inside of smaller spaces. Um, so this is also good. And I also gave you guys a um, metallic pen um, to be able to use on the edges of your, um, uh, your, at the end of the project when you go ahead and demold your, um, your mold. So then that way you can put it on the edge of the geode. Okay. If someone has a, um, if anyone has an example of how they did theirs, please share it and we'll go ahead and share it into the group or on the page or in our in Instagram. Awesome. Of course, you guys got this awesome mold. It is a very big mold. It's about eight and a half inches in diameter. Um, so it is a geode, a geode mold and it is broken up into four different pieces. Hopefully you guys have fun with it. And finally, the last thing in your box was the silicone mat. Um, we gave these out on our first box back in August and I thought it was time for us to put it back in the box. So every single person got one of these and um, we will be putting them in future boxes as well, so don't fright. Um, and that is it. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys had fun. Please give me any kind of feedback you guys may have. Remember, we're still a new company. We're still learning. We're still wanting feedback. We want critiques. We want everything. So if you guys have any questions, concerns, um, please let us know. By the way, this month's pamphlet, for whatever reason, had a printing issue. So because it was so, so late in the game when we received it, we didn't have time to reprint it and put it in. But we will go ahead and post that pamphlet onto our social media platforms later on um, in the week. You guys have been awesome. Thank you so very much for your support. Remember, December boxes are out right now, and we are trying to get them out the door by Thanksgiving week so you guys can start enjoying. All right? You guys have a wonderful week. Have a great day. And once again, thank you for supporting Resins and More Boxes. You have a great one.